Welcome back to episode 11 of A Scare Plays Mini Metro. We're going to hop into a brand new level that I've actually never tried before this episode, and that's going to be Stockholm. Now, uh, as I just said, I've actually never played this one. I have a best score right now of zero. So regardless of what we score here, it's going to be a new high. But let's see. So it looks like this isn't as crazy as the last map. It looks like it's more in line with kind of what I would expect. So let's see how Stockholm works. All right. So we're going to be dealing with a lot of bridge situations. We start with five, start with three trains. So we'll go ahead and just get these things kind of connected up as normal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this a circle for now. Three circles off to the bottom left, probably not ideal, but we will see. I can already see that tunnels are going to be problematic. So what, to be honest though, ooh, okay, that already puts a damper in my plans there. Well, actually, wait. All right, let me see here. We only have one locomotive in this one. Um, I am going to grab a, some additional tunnels to get started here. Because it looks like the tunnel situation looks like it's going to be rough. Now, having one looping track like this that will... Although it looks like stuff's going to spawn out here eventually. Maybe up here. I was going to say having one loop like this and then having like small loops on each side might be a way to go here. Again, it's first time trying this map, so chances are I'm going to bomb this first attempt. But you guys are here to witness it, so let's see what we can do. If that is already problem. Uh, I still have one, which will save me for now. I think running a bunch of like non circular tracks is going to be what I'm going to have to do here. Maybe I can run like one path up north, one down south, and then a couple I run up and down. Right, we have two squares right next to each other. Locomotive. I'm such a big fan of carriages, but I feel like going a line here might be smarter. don't know the map enough yet. Um, I will take a line for now. See how that goes for us. Let's see. Here I have four circles. I have three triangles. That's already going to be a problem for my bridges. All right. We're already going to have to redesign here. Let's go ahead and do a redesign. All right, I think a south route is gonna make sense. It's all circles right now though, which sucks. Then I can do a north route, which would currently be that. I then would run a north-south route, which would go, actually maybe, Taking this over makes sense. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And then run one that goes... Not a fan of that shape. But I think it will clear itself up here. Right now. Green is going to end up transporting a hell of a lot out of the south. So gonna put two trains on that for now. If I get a triangle or 
a square down here, I'm going to be in decent shape. But I definitely need something besides circles. still have another line, so I'm going to grab a carriage now. Throw this on... I think this blue line is going to become problematic. The red route is getting long. You're going to need a train. Oh my gosh. Come on. Go ahead. Take. Alright. Spawn a triangle down here for me. Come on, game. Give me something. That's a little bit different than this. Oh man, is that train gonna get down there in time? Oh, that triangle is huge, actually. Oh gosh. Okay. That triangle is honestly 100% saving right now. Um, we're going to now be able to move that. That, once again, is not ideal. I have enough tunnels, though. Let's get another line. Alright, so let's do just a small line that does that. I feel like that will help alleviate the red line a little bit. Um... Let's see, it's a super short line though. Maybe I'll also have it go up. Yep, that actually looks decent. That's fine. This will save itself. Not too worried about it. All right, plus going down here is a little problematic. Because now all the pluses will have to transfer through green south. Maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking. That's actually becoming a decent sized grout. Alright, let's see here. I have that spare line. I'm actually going to take one off of red, because I don't think I have an extra train right now. And I'm just going to run a help line like that to help alleviate the red line temporarily here. That is... Ooh. I don't see anywhere that I feel like I'm going to need a tunnel. Tunnels might be helpful, but I think right now I'm actually going to grab another line. So by doing that, and actually maybe I'll throw it out there too. So maybe I'll completely shorten this red line now that I'm thinking about this. This line will do all of that. Let's see. Blue line, I think, is actually going to be okay. Shortening of the red line should help this. But let's go ahead and make sure it survives. Mm 
I'm actually going to remove red from there. This will just help make sure that the green line is in charge of, like, really transporting the stuff between north and south. That teal line went from not exactly a planned line to doing a hell of a lot. Let's see, I still have that extra line, which I'm going to need to help. <laughs> I need to figure out this. I need to help this situation. To make that a slightly shorter line, I'll then run a short line. I don't have any tunnels, do I? Or do? I don't. Okay. So then I'm just going to run a short line that does that. I'll nab the red, one of the red trains for that. Gonna need another train for teal. Look at that carriage. That's actually huge. Let's take a look here. I threw the other train on teal. Let's see where the carriage is gonna make the most sense. So almost all of that's gonna be dropped off on blue. Blue has two, though, so it should be able to handle that influx of pluses. I say that, I don't think that's actually the case. So that's going to be a huge transfer. Perfect. Let's see, I think the single blue train can handle that. So now I need another train on green in order to do all of these unique transfers. I don't think that purple route is helping me much. Let's, uh, let's delete that. Let's see, I don't have any tunnels. Can I hit that? It could. But it's not going to be able to be a circular route. Um, maybe that's okay. Let's see how that does. Okay. That somehow barely saved itself. That should get saved. Let's see, a bunch of transfers going. Blah, 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 blah. Get it emptied, get it emptied. Oh my gosh, I don't know if the. I guess that's like when you're watching a football game and, you, and you're like, snap the ball, snap the ball. Because you see the uh, clock down at zero. Um, I, That was crazy. Okay. Alright, we are, we're definitely hitting the breaking point here. This route is not sustainable. This teal route isn't sustainable. Let's see. I'll throw that on the green because that's definitely the most problematic thing right now. I think that's going to be okay. I'm going to need another train on blue. And then, where can I help blue? Maybe I'll do a route just like that temporarily. To help 
get triangles and pluses off of here. That's the entire point of that single little route there. All right, purple route has done its job. Let's clear it. All right, this somehow has ended up with a ton of circles on it. Which is a little odd, but okay. We'll help clear that up. I don't have any tunnels. Let's see here. I'm going to do that and have this go down to there. That makes this a little bit more of a central hub and it gives me back a tunnel, which is going to be huge. All right. Um, I wonder if running a special T route that goes Like that should actually be helpful. That will also alleviate green a little bit because then Pentagon and Arc or whatever this thing is can be dropped off over here. That triangle is really useful. Oh man, let's drop off point. It should be able to take all those off though. Okay, it's barely gonna survive. All right, it's now become clear. Teal is way too long of a route. Let's see, blue should get saved. But auto, or not auto, but manually take that car up to save that. That will save itself. Okay, barely, but it did. Let's go. Right, now the locomotive. We got a carriage. Locomotive is going to have to go on its heel. Let's take a look here. Purple's a short enough track that I should not have to do anything with. Which appears to be true. Okay. That brown route, or whatever the heck we're calling this color, is showing problematic. Let's see. Let's transfer the red train up to help. And then maybe I will put the additional carriage on red. Because now I think red's down to one train, but it should just be able to go back and forth for us. Blue route is getting longer and longer. I think that that's going to spell doom for us. Let's pause here for a second. Where's Diamond at? Diamond's up north, so that's a brown route. Okay. Man, I really like how the routes came together here. I'm just trying to think if there's a way to make this a little bit more streamlined. I think we it would really lengthen the route though. So let's say running green over to plus, I think is actually a better idea. that way 
Blue isn't stuck transporting the pluses. And this should get saved. The red one is problematic though. Let's temporarily save ourselves there. The blue is going to be problematic now that I'm not Change the route there a little bit. Ah, oh, how the oh star is up here. Dang it! I don't think that I have time to save this. Oh, oh my gosh! Come on, 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 come on. Uh, no, wait, I need to find something that's gonna be closer. Oh man. This thing's all circles, it's about to drop off. Come on, 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 come all right, let's look at this for a second. All right, so looking at this, I am actually, considering this is my first time playing this level, I'm actually super pumped with how that turned out. Um, I think actually the overall like layout that I had going here was decent. Please, like, if you guys have opinions on how I'm running these routes, please let me know in the comments, because, again, this is a game that I come back to all the time, so... Any tips and tricks, I would love to know. But looking at it from my perspective, I think this actually made a lot of sense. I mean, we had kind of those three main routes that handled the north. We had that blue route in the south. And then we had two routes that basically transferred from north to south. I think me, if I had to run this over to plus earlier... I think that that would have helped me out more. Um, could be wrong. I would love to know any opinions you guys have on that. I think this little route was actually really beneficial because that took a certain load off of green. Also, having these little routes of like, normally I do like two to four stations. They're just really quick, really uh, easy way to lighten the load for your upper tracks especially in a case like this where we were able to take two specials and then triangles out of the middle here because there was a triangle here a triangle here but then you had two circles on each side leading here so i feel like that was actually a really good route i don't know i'm actually really happy with how this one went uh let's hop in and take a look at where that put us on the scoreboard So Stockholm, first time trying. Top 10%. Let's go. Let's go. I still, I, I think I have now, over the years, I think I've put like about 30 hours into this game. I still have no idea how in the heck these people score these ridiculous scores. I mean, I think the answer is that the map expands to a certain thing, and then you are able to just basically rack up a score. Um, but, oh my gosh, like if I ever scored, I don't think, I think I've scored over 2,000 on a map or two, but, like, these scores are nuts to me, but, what you, what you gonna do? Um, so, to be honest, even though I'm having a lot of fun with this series, I think I am going to be wrapping up with the next episode. Uh, this will also make it so, even though every time you play, it's a little bit different, um, I, I don't want to go through like every single level of the game, just so that if anybody out there is thinking about getting it or something, like you'll still have things to enjoy that I, like, I didn't cover. Um, so I think what I'm actually going to do is next episode, uh, I'm actually going to hop a couple, and I want to do one video on San Francisco, and then I'll probably be wrapping up this specific series um if you guys like this series please let me know maybe i will come back and do the other i think if i've done 
I think I've done 11. I think I'm... So with the next one, it will be 12 maps. I think the base game currently has 27 built into it. So there's still more than half of the game to go. So if this is a series that you guys are just like laying back, chilling to, enjoying, let me know because maybe I'll pick back up on it, do like a season two and do the other half of the maps, something like that. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around. And I'll see you guys for the season finale on San Francisco. Till then, take care out.